All right, class, settle down, settle down, settle down, all right? Now, obviously, I'm not your usual health teacher, your soft-ass, peppermint-fresh, Miss Menthol, all right? Yeah, my name's Mr. Paul Maul, and unlike Mrs. Menthol, I'm unfiltered. I was sent here to scare your butt straight, because I've seen it all, little ciggies. I was rolled in the jungles of Vietnam. <laughs> While you all were still Lucy's in your daddy's bugler pouch. <laughs> I had my butt on more lips than an American spirit at a Wilco concert. <laughs> I've been married three times. All to Virginia Slims. <laughs> the sexiest of all Lady Six. <laughs> and yes, I have killed a man. But my past is behind me. Yeah, that's right, now it makes sense. <laughs> but my past is behind me. I'm a changed SIG, okay? I'm a motivational speaker. And today I'm here to talk to you about the dangers of being smoked by humans. All right? So listen up. Now I know you're all at that age where your peers may pressure you into doing some things you don't want to do. Does anybody know what that's called? No, it's called pack pressure. It's called pack pressure. Write that down, pack pressure. Now, you don't have to listen to pack pressure, okay? I know we all want to be cool, like cools over there. But I'm here to tell you that you'll still be lit, okay? Even if you don't get smoked by humans. Let me throw some facts at you, dum-dums. Did you know that being smoked by humans is the worldwide leading cause of death to cigarettes? Yeah, it's scary, right? The second and third most fatalities are caused by the rain and being left in a pants pocket on laundry day. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the effects that smoking has on the shaft. Now, first, just in the sense of appearances, smoking turns your filters yellow. Gross, right? Ooh. Good luck getting a date to homecoming with yellow filters. Secondly, and more importantly, it burns you alive from the inside out. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you a picture, and it's a little graphic, all right? So if your little butts can't handle it, just look away, okay? First up, this is a healthy cig. It's long, it's white, everything looks good, right? And this is a sig just five minutes after being smoked. Yeah, it's just a pile of ashes. Oh, look, Newport's barfing tobacco. Yeah, good to know you paid attention, Newport. Because guess what? When you're just a pile of ashes, you're going to have trouble slanging footballs in Michigan State, all right? Yeah, good luck to that scholarship. Because being smoked is known as a gateway tug, OK? <laughs> <laughs> that means it can lead you to try other dangerous activities, and we all know what they are. Being rolled into a marijuana spliff, being smoked by animals for the sake of comedy, being put behind some dumb skater's ear and having to listen to the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones on repeat for three hours. Yeah, oh, is that funny, huh? You think that's funny, Camel Crush, huh? Well, let me tell you something. You look at this. Look at it. Look. I was addicted to being smoked, all right? And I'll carry those scars with me for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna lie to you. Being smoked was one of the hardest things I had to try to quit, all right? I hit ground bottom when I tried to attach my ass to a dust buster, just so I could feel hot air pulling through my tube. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Having your insides burnt and sucked through your anus feels great. It does, it really does, but the repercussions just are not worth it, all right? That's all the time I have. Hopefully you learned something. Up next, Mr. Salem's gonna come up and talk to you about France and why it is an awful, dangerous place for cigarettes. <laughs>